Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Wine. Welcome back to art class. Today we will be learning about the artist Alexander Calder. And today we will be learning how to create a practice paper sculpture inspired by his work. So let's get started. When you look at this photograph of Calder's sculpture, you should notice it has some large arching pieces. That's what we're going to be practicing today. So the material that you will need is a sheet of paper, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and you will also need a pencil and a ruler here in just a little bit. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take my sheet of paper, and this is just regular construction paper, and I'm just going to fold it in half. Remember, I line up the corners, then I press down to the center, and then out to the edges. And this is just simply because I'm going to use half of this paper as my base and half of this paper as my sculpture. So once I have it folded in half, I just want to cut it as carefully and neatly as I can down the center. I'm going to take half of this and set it aside. That's going to be my base. And I'm going to take the other half and I'm going to fold it in half. Same thing, I'm going to line up the corners, corner to corner, and then I start by pressing in the middle and pressing it out to the edges. Okay? So once I have done that, I'm ready to start cutting and drawing some lines. So this is where I will need my ruler and my pencil. The first thing I want to think about is when I look at Calder's sculpture, I notice that it has a big curved line here. So what I want to do, and I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can see a little more closely, is I'm gonna take just this corner and I'm just gonna draw a little curve. I wanna cut that corner off. So I'm just going to draw a line, and this is the piece I don't need. I've got it folded, so my folded edge is always on my left. And then I'm just going to cut off this corner. This is garbage. And now you can see when I open it up, I'm going to have that nice curved edge. So now I have to think about how I can make this paper three-dimensional. And one thing that I like to do is I like to take my ruler and I'm just gonna draw a line. This is somewhere between a quarter of an inch and a half of an inch, just a very light line. And I know that from now on, whatever it is I cut, I am not going to cut past that line. And then I'm just gonna draw some curves in here. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm just gonna follow the same curve. We'll talk later about how we can give our sculptures some interesting edges, but today we're just working on making that two-dimensional paper three-dimensional. And I'm just gonna continue to draw some curves up and over, but notice I stop when I get to that line. And you should have space to draw three, maybe even four lines. I'll see if I can squeeze one more in here. So as you can see, I drew one, two, three, four lines. All of my lines stop at this edge because I don't want to cut past that edge. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut while the paper is folded I'm just going to cut right along that line. So I'm going to curve the paper around. And when I get to that edge, right where that line is, I'm going to stop. I'm 
Got two more to cut. Stopping when I get to that edge. I don't want to cut it in half. Okay, so once that's finished, you can double check. I've cut both sides. That's what it would look like if I open it up. But now I'm gonna do some folds so that I can make my sculpture stand up because in order for it to be a sculpture, it needs to stand up and be three-dimensional. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper. I'm gonna take just this top piece and I'm gonna fold it back right along where that edge is where I drew that line. Then I'm gonna take my whole sculpture, I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna take not the first line, but the second line. And I'm gonna fold that line back. I take the whole thing, I flip it over, and I skip this one, I go to the next one, whoops, just one of them, and I fold that one back. I take the whole thing, I flip it over, I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna fold this one back. whole thing, flip it over, and if I can fold back that tiny little edge, I'll fold back that tiny little edge. So now, as you can see, when I start to stand it up, my sculpture starts to stand up and it's 3D. I can sort of play around with how this looks at from the side, and I can play around with how I fold these to get an interesting viewpoint all the way around, no matter where I would look at it, either from this side or from this side or over here or even over here, it's going to have an interesting viewpoint. So the last step is taking my sculpture and gluing it down. In order to do that, I have to create some feet for my sculpture. And there's a really quick, easy way to do that. What I like to do is I put the whole sculpture back down while it's folded. And I'm going to set my ruler down. I'm going to hold my ruler down. It doesn't matter whether you do it this way or this way. And then I'm going to give myself little edges to glue on. And because I want them to be pretty even, I'm just going to take each little edge and I'm just going to fold it over the edge of that ruler. It's a quick, easy way to make sure that my edges are mostly even and to make sure that I'm going to have a space where I can glue my foot. So now, as you can see, when I stand my sculpture up, it has these little pieces that I'm gonna be able to glue. So once I have a viewpoint that I like, and I like it all the way around, I'm ready to start gluing. And for that, I'm just gonna take the glue stick, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue down on one of those feet. I'm gonna line it up where I wanted it, and I'm gonna glue it down. It usually helps to start with your outside feet first. Once I have one done, then it's easy for me just to curve another one up, put a little glue stick on, hold it down. My glue is pretty sticky, so you only have to hold it for a few seconds. And then I'm just going to keep going. So I'm going to keep going until I get all my feet glued down. making sure that I like how my sculpture looks from every single different angle. And I would keep gluing until I had all those inside feet done too. But for the sake of time, I just wanna give you an idea about how this would look. So remember, I'm looking at my sculpture from all different viewpoints 
and I want to make sure that each viewpoint looks interesting. If my feet start to come up, then I just take the glue stick and I'm going to come back and just start to glue them down. Remember, this week is just for practice, just so we understand how the concept of creating our sculpture works. Don't forget when you're all the way finished with the glue, you wanna take the glue stick, twist it down, and put the lid on. I can't wait to see what your practice sculptures look like. I hope you had fun turning paper into a three-dimensional artwork. And until next time, keep on creating.